Hey you guys, what is up? It is Drew and we're back with another video. Today we're gonna be installing some saddlebags on the Harley Davidson Sportster over there in the back. Now here is the unboxing of the saddlebags for the Harley Bobber. Now, I already opened the box but I still haven't touched anything yet. Just wanna make things a little more easier just for purposes, recording purposes, but here, this one I, right here is the saddlebag itself. Wow, it's actually really nice. The quality feels real good just in the bag. And then it came with this extra um, tool bag that usually you put up front on the front ports. I'm trying to show you like where it would go. Normally you'd see them like right here. I'm not sure how I like that look. Uh, I mean, all the other bags were a hundred bucks and it was just the uh, swing arm saddle bag so the fact that this one came with this you know i just felt might as well get this one instead just to get the extra just in case if it does look good then you know i'll install it and keep it on but we'll see how that looks but this one is the main event right here so let me just try to get this open right here all right so i got it out and about so let's just unstrap it here oh i mean it's kind of interesting some people like use the clips and things like that this one actually has like an actual um, belt system but I'm trying to unlatch it there we go just so we can see the inside you know it's just interior space and things like that so let's try to put it right there obviously has some stuff in here and the one thing that i like about this is that it comes with an extra uh gas tank bottle or gas bottle not gas tank bottle but what this is, is you fill it up with gas and you keep it right here on this side or water. For me, I'm just gonna keep it with gas because if you do know, the Sportster does have a smaller tank compared to other Harleys. So, you know, if you're cruising with other people that have bigger tanks than you, you know, you might be running out of gas a lot sooner and quicker than them. So what that bottle does, it just allows you to have like a reserve tank with you. So whenever you're at a light or pulling over or whatever you just fill it up and you're good to go so that's one thing that i do like from this tank or this bottle but let's see the actual interior space so here are the straps that basically are going to strap on to the swing arm on the left side but now let's just go on and install this not much to talk about besides it being very good quality I honestly like it a lot, but let's see how it looks like once it's finally on the bike. So here we got the front uh, saddle bag or just front uh, toolbox bag. Now I'm not too sure of how big of a fan I am of this. Uh, one thing is, is just because it lays right here where the, you know, obviously the forks compress. So, you know, if you hit a bump or something, you know, might end up hitting here. And just because I'm not putting a fender, it might run into that issue. I'm not sure yet. I'll have to test it out, see if it's any good. But one of my main concerns was having the turn signals right here. As you can see, I have the LEDs right there on the bottom of the forks to try to make it more minimal and visible instead of like having it up here. But the one thing that I'm thinking I'm gonna have an issue with is now the visibility on the turn signals. So. Uh, might have to go and buy extra turn signals or something to put on the outsides of the handlebars, something like that. If I do end up sticking with this bag, I'm not sure how I like it, but for the time being, we'll just test it out, see if you know it's convenient or anything like that. But right now, moving on to the back, uh, it does have straps to strap it on to the back though. So we got one there and two up here. Now I'm trying to figure out where to precisely mount this bag, you know. Uh, the one thing is this passenger peg is in the way kinda. So that's a little tough, but I think it should still be okay. It's gonna mount up like that, but I'm trying to find out the mounting points, but I'll get back to you guys once I finally have it mounted up and tell you guys what I've done. So this is what I have got with the whole setup with the internal straps right here. So I wrapped it around the actual frame of the motorcycle right here. I just popped off the cap where all the fuses and battery is. And right there you'll have a piece of the frame. So I just loop those two loops around there. 
and I think it's gonna be pretty good as is right there. But uh, on the third one, I'm a little confused. You can kind of see like I'm supposed to loop it over something. I'm not sure if it's supposed to be the brake, you know, reservoir for the rear or anything like that. I'm thinking I'm just gonna go like that since it's not gonna be carrying anything really heavy in these saddlebags. I mean, it's pretty small saddlebag, so you can't put much in. And I mean, you already have these two straps uh, wrapped around the whole frame. So it should be more than good and sturdy enough. But that uh, last one, I'm a little sketchy about putting it over the brake reservoir. But I mean, it is a sturdy point, but it is what it is. Uh, that's how I'm gonna go and do it. And that should honestly be the whole installation. It's very simple. It was a little confusing at first just because there wasn't any instructions or anything like that in the box. But for a hundred bucks, honestly, the quality is really nice. I'm gonna have to test it out, see, you know, how practical it is, you know, with, you know, carrying the daily things while being on this bike, things like that. But I mean, it definitely does change up the whole look of the bike in a positive way, in my opinion. And it just adds that whole convenience, you know, if you don't wanna take a backpack or anything like that, you know, it gives you that opportunity. If you're ever buying something small at the store, whatever, snacks, food, you could always just toss it in here, you know, tighten it up, and that thing's not gonna be moving anywhere. On top of that, also giving you, you know, that little gas tank reservoir, you know, that to always have, you know, just because with some sportsters like mine, it doesn't have a fuel gauge. So you are always having to, you know, check the mileage on the speedometer and things like that to try to estimate when you actually have to refill. So it is gonna be good, you know, having that extra insurance that, you know, you will have gas just in case if by any reason you, you know, weren't paying attention and you get stranded, you know, at least that little bit of gas should be more than enough just to get you to a gas station and you should be good to go. So that wraps up the whole installation of La Rosa saddlebags on top of that also the fork bags that came with uh with my purchase off of amazon most people selling these bags um from la rosa don't include the front forks uh, they're normally about a hundred bucks the quality is very good so you know i won't knock it on that but for a hundred bucks the fact that i was able to get the front fork bag too was also a good deal so if you're able to find that you know and you are into that front um toolbox or tool not toolbox but tool bag uh look on your harley davidson sportster you know i definitely would recommend this purchase and we'll just see how it performs on the road and things like that and just like that that completes our overall install with the la rosa saddle bags on the harley davidson sportster over there make sure you guys like and subscribe if you guys are enjoying the content and it's drew and i'll see you guys next time peace